Hello friends, we are back in the office slash closet because today I have decided to take on a little undertaking that has been replaying in my mind over and over again. Today is the day that I finally start. I've been really inspired lately by people who are editing their wardrobes. So Sabrina Hank, who you guys know that I love, she writes the newsletter, Are You Wearing That? She used to be a vintage seller and curator for many, many years. I believe she still is. She's currently in the process of editing her closet. She's just sold a bunch of clothes. I saw a TikTok, a TikTok, a TikTok recently where the gal edited her wardrobe down to I think like 37 pieces. I saw something the other day where they were talking about how editors of big fashion magazines and people who have really impeccable style, one of the things they do to afford the things they want but keep their closets really relevant and timeless is to only buy seven pieces a year. You could see and look for a whole bunch of different data on the internet about the benefits of editing your closet but basically Basically, we just don't have that much space in our house. I don't wear a ton of the clothes that I have. Shopping gives you a little boost of serotonin, even if that shopping is thrifting. And I've just acquired a bunch of clothes over the years. I'm ready to kind of clean it out, edit it, so that when I am adding pieces to my closet in the future, I know where there are gaps, as far as staples that I need, what I can be adding to the collection. Because like, for example, right now I have credit to the real real, but I have buyer's indecision because I don't know what I need. I don't wanna make another frivolous purchase. So today is the day that we start that process. Now mind you, closet editing is likely going to be not just a one and done thing. I think it's going to probably happen in a lot of layers. But today I've decided we're gonna start with the clean out portion of things. See, you can see the doors back there don't even close because it's just such a mess. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take out everything, everything from my drawers, everything from my closets. I have these Ikea closets that we built, but I also have this other closet that comes with the duplex that has like winter stuff. That's another thing. There's a lot of winter items right now. So we're just going to take everything out and do a little edit, do donations, do giveaway, which is the same thing as donations, do selling. Let's go. voiceover to explain a little bit behind my thought process in decluttering my closet. So I started by taking everything out of the closet and going through each item one by one. I asked myself questions like, is this a timeless piece? Do I love it? Do I see myself wearing it in the future? Is it something that I can foresee passing down to my grandchildren? And if any of the answers to the questions were no, I then added it to a separate pile based on what the item was was. So some of these piles included items that I was going to sell to the real real. These were higher priced items that I thought would do well in that space. I had a pile for Buffalo Exchange, which is more contemporary pieces. Think of brands like Urban Outfitters, Free People. And then I also made a pile for vintage. We luckily have a vintage buyer here in Nashville who will take a lot of your secondhand and thrifted items and resell them. And then of course there were the items that I was going to sell on Instagram stories. I that were really trendy, like my vintage Levi's, like Jesse Cam pants that I thought would sell well there. And then anything that I couldn't segment into those piles, I put into a Goodwill pile. Once everything was segmented, if something was a yes, that I still wanted to keep it in my closet, then I would hang it back up. And then as I'm putting things back into my closet, I'm resegmenting them by category. So I put all of the tops together or all of the light jackets together. And I tried to keep it organized by sleeve length so that everything just felt really clean and organized along the way. Wow, three hours later, we are doing pretty good. Not where I wanna be, but I have to go to dinner tonight, so I'm gonna have to cap it somewhere. You can see we have drastically decreased the size of the wardrobe. 
out and this section over here starting with the green is actually clothes I borrowed from my friend so this is really besides my basics and my tees which are in my drawer which I haven't done all we're working with the other closet I'll show you in a minute this is all stuff I need to sell so the left is stuff I'm gonna sell on an Instagram story and all of those pretty much all of them are vintage jeans either Levi's or Wranglers and then a bunch of other stuff that I think might sell well on Instagram the middle is stuff I'm gonna sell on Poshmark and then anything obviously that doesn't sell on Instagram I'll sell on Poshmark and then the right hand side with the toppling Chanel is the real real and I'm gonna schedule an appointment to have somebody come and pick it up I'm gonna try and sell these two vintage pieces on eBay I've never sold clothes on eBay so we'll see how that goes and then this is the other closet you can see I have like all my boots over here behind the hangers and then a few other shoes that wouldn't fit in there and then it's mostly just sweatshirts and a few lighter jackets for the summer and then occasion wear so some things either I need for like a wedding or pieces that I won't wear all the time but they're like too special to give away I still need to go through all my boxes up there and also my basics but I would say we're doing pretty good what I've decided is this is like a preliminary edit this is just first round like anything that I could have parted with. I do think I have space to part with a little bit more. What I want to do is essentially rebuild my wardrobe and only have pieces that are timeless, classic, completely versatile, or so special that I couldn't ignore. And I'm in the process of making a spreadsheet of like a capsule wardrobe, pieces of clothing that I think are absolutely essential in your, in your wardrobe. And of course there's gonna be some offshoots here and there because something was so special or you just loved it or you had to have it. But I'm gonna try and keep my closet to these items that I always wear so that I can just continue to build a collection that hopefully one day my kids and my kids' kids will inherit and appreciate. That is the closet edit so far. I'm feeling pretty good about it, but of course, like I said, we'll need to do one more big edit, big purge. Yeah.